Yeah, people are definitely wondering, is the power going to stay on this weekend and into the early part of next week? Governor Abbott saying he feels good about the status of the grid. We're in the green at the moment, as you can see right here with our, uh, our uh, little graph here right there. Green at the moment and the forecasted capacity plus committed capacity is not anywhere near the forecasted demand uh, right now, which is always a good thing uh, to see. Still ERCOT issuing a weather watch from Sunday to Tuesday due to the freezing temperatures lasting so long. Jesse Huila is saying uh, that they're going to be over 80 hours long uh, under the uh, freezing mark there. They expect demand to really climb during those days so much that it's likely to exceed previous winters. In fact, a record demand is predicted for Tuesday. Power plants, they rely on wind, solar, natural natural gas to make electricity, specifically natural gas. So the price of that will likely go up as demand grows too. And we're told by experts that the day to watch where we could see if anything rolling outages would be Tuesday morning, mainly because Monday is a holiday and Tuesday morning everyone will likely be with weather permitting heading back to work. Abbott was criticized when the grid nearly collapsed in 2021. Take a listen to his remarks. We feel very good. Uh, about uh, the status uh, of the Texas power grid and ERCOT to, to be able to uh, uh, effectively and successfully uh, ensure that the power is going to stay on throughout the entirety of this winter storm episode. And you also have to remember that sometimes there's power outages due to uh, downed power lines based off of precip or ice that's hanging on branches. They'll drop on those lines uh, and they'll have to repair those. So it can't just be the grid, too. It might also be uh, these issues with trees that we have as well during these winter uh, moments that we're going to face this weekend and into next week. So all this to say, please be prepared. Chris.